Here we have for sale our 2019 on a 68 plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is the T30, which means it's got a three ton gross vehicle weight. This is a T6, which is the shape. It has got the two litre TDI Euro 6 diesel engine producing 150 brake horsepower in this particular van. And that is accompanied with a seven speed DSG automatic gearbox. This is an addition combi, eight seater. I'll come on to that a bit later on in the video because these don't come as standard with eight seats of course and this is the short wheelbase low roof and what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around I'll show you the spec that you get on an addition combi of this age there's of course a number of elements which have been added and upgraded on this particular van as well which I'll talk you through we'll also have a look at uh, the condition in detail and talk to you as well about things like the uh, service history and the previous ownership as well. Seeing as this vehicle is currently available for sale with us here today at Bridgen Van Centre at the time of recording. First thing to note, this colour is called Indium Grey, a really popular metallic grey uh, that you can get of course on the Volkswagen Transporter. And this is a really good representation actually is of how different it is in direct sunlight from this side and, uh, and then of course in the shade on the other. But looking here then at the rear of the vehicle then we can see that this one is specced with a rear glazed tailgate. So a tailgate of course is one door which comes up like so and glazed meaning it has got a rear window. The glazed tailgates do come with rear wash and wipe so a rear wiper and has got a washer jet in there as well and also heated rear glass. Now this one has had a number of styling elements added to it uh, that starts here at the back with the rear spoiler. Looking a bit down, uh, further down below then, we can also see under here we have got a nice reversing camera, uh, which is uh, a really nice addition on this particular van. Uh, as standard, you'll get things like um, parking sensors, which you can see here nicely integrated into the rear bumper. And talking about these bumpers, they of course all come color coded in the body color. This one has a rear bumper protector, uh, of course, because this is a sort of high traffic area in and out of the rear of the vehicle. And you can also see the addition comes with some nice decals around the vehicle there, just denoting the model. And you'll see a bit of those uh, further down the side as well. In terms of condition then at the rear of the vehicle, uh, and this is going to be a theme as we go around this van, it is in absolutely fantastic condition. Having a really good look here in the reflections, looking for any dents or ripples or marks. There's not a lot I can fault that on, if I'm being honest. If there is anything which I can see on this van, I will gladly point it out to you. Opening up the rear then, this is where things start to become a little bit different in this particular vehicle. So first thing to note, the rear of the vehicle is fully carpet lined, I believe insulated behind there as well, but of course this was done before it came into us. But as a really nice uh, job has been done there on the carpet lining. This one has got a lovely as well, uh, light suede headlining as well, which certainly adds uh, a bit more uh, luxury uh, inside there. And then the obviously glaring thing here is that, as I say, that this has got a uh, third row of rear seats. So we have paperwork to confirm that this was actually carried out by uh, Vanworks. If you're not familiar with Vanworks, uh, really uh, sort of popular company um, who do a lot of sort of conversion work, styling work, things like that. So they're very, very familiar with uh, this type of uh, sort of conversion. This is a genuine set of VW seats with VW fixings, all properly tested. Um, so you've got no safety issues there whatsoever. And of course it does match the trim uh, behind. Being a genuine VW seat, you have got some nice versatility with this as well. If you pull on this little uh, tab just there, you can fold the seat down and then there's two tabs just there, pull on those and you can flip the seat up and completely remove it as well if you want to. And that is the lovely thing with this van is, as I say, you can literally go from uh, a three-seater all the way up to an eight-seater uh, in different configurations as you want. Moving then down the passenger side of the vehicle then. Of course, I don't want to keep you too long here. If you are uh, looking here again, just in those reflections, you can see how clean and tidy this is. Very, very nice indeed. This one has got a brand new set of 20-inch uh, caliber satin black alloy wheels uh, with, of course, brand new tires. These are all correctly load rated 
to the vehicle with this one being a three ton gross vehicle weight and I'm, I hope you agree it really sets the vehicle off very very nicely. The other thing which has been done here is this vehicle is lowered by 40 millimeters all around on 40 millimeter lowering springs uh, and I think that just really helps to uh, have the wheels sit better in uh, the arches when you've got 20 inch alloy wheels like this. Uh, not too low though as I say you've still got a bit of an arch gap there so it doesn't take away from the practicality of the vehicle. You can also see while we're down here then we've got these nice addition decals down the side of the vehicle. This one has also got sidebars and roof bars as well so these things don't come as standard really nice little um, extras which have been added there. If we open up the side loading door then we can start to have a look at a bit more of the spec in here. So this one you can see as well is spec'd with a 2 plus a 1 uh, rear seating configuration. Uh, if I just turn the uh, brightness up here a little bit on the camera. So again just offering lots of versatility you can remove this seat individually or the second one as you want to of course both both of these seats can fold flat there's some photos on uh, the advert of this van as well go there at the end of this video if you haven't been there already and you can see the different um, positions that these seats can go in pull that little handle on the side that then gives you access into the rear and this is where we can have a look at the rear seats um, i'm six foot tall and i say there's enough leg room in the back of there for someone of uh, for my height, uh, you've got Isofix compatibility on the two outer seats as well. Another nice little feature is the extra speakers which have been added. Again, as I mentioned, really nice job has been done on the carpet lining in the back of the van here. And as I say, nice little extra speakers there, uh, just so it makes it more comfortable for your rear passengers there. Being a, a factory combi then, you get this lovely um, soft touch um, rubber flooring and there's plenty of tie down points all the way around the back of the vehicle there so as i say if you are to remove these seats you could literally use this as a two-seater van if you wanted but fantastic condition in the back of here there's really not a lot to fault it on uh, as i say of course all carpet lined so uh, certainly going to help with some sound deadening there as well looking at the rear of those front seats looking very very smart indeed opening up the passenger door then we can have a look inside the start to have a look inside the cab passenger door can absolutely faultless lovely condition here just on the entranceway the step looking in, into the front and again you'll out, you'll see in a second with the service history how well maintained this van has been uh, it's always a nice sign as well the previous owner has gone to the expense of putting some nice uh, volkswagen rubber over mats in there uh, which just as they show that this van has been uh, cared for and protected speaking of that service history then i'd like to show you this here which uh, we've got with the vehicle. So there's lots of other paperwork, uh, but one nice thing with Volkswagens is they do come with this uh, nice um, service history printout when you get your vehicle serviced. And you can see here three times it has been into uh, Volkswagen for an inspection. The first two were with an oil change, the most recent one then, which was in uh, March of 2022. That was uh, for a brake fluid change and of course a full inspection as well. Um, and uh, yeah, this is where that was actually the brake fluid change just there. So lovely to see all of that upon arrival with ourselves as well. And during our preparation, we have put this vehicle right through our workshop uh, that we use. Uh, they have given the vehicle a full service, a fresh MOT, and also crucially uh, a timing belt and water pump change as well, because these are due every four years. So that would be due in January 23. So as I say, that has been done. So you don't have to worry about that for another. Uh, four years or 80,000 miles so as I say you've got full peace of mind that that is done. Moving then around to the front of the vehicle this being an addition you get a number of elements which come in black that includes the of course wing mirror covers there but also a black roof. In the camera here it probably doesn't stand out too much it is subtle of course with the van being in the indium grey but you have got a gloss black roof there which uh, is just makes it a little bit different really really nice indeed looking then around to the front we can see that this one has got the sport line style uh, front uh, splitter uh, you've also got front parking sensors on this particular example uh, and this one has got uh, probably the best um, factory upgrade uh, that I think you can get on a transporter and that is the LED headlights. Anyone who's had a transporter before who's watching this video, uh, if you've had one with standard headlights, you'll know that they aren't the greatest, but these upgraded LEDs are absolutely fantastic. Lovely LED daytime running light as well that comes with them around the outside as well. Condition here then at the front of the vehicle, again, not much to fault it on. A couple of stone chips, of course, as you'd expect. So the bonnet, I'm saying that, but there's not really 
many which I can see. Looking a bit lower down here, it's looking very, very clean and tidy, as I say. Front parking sensors as well, front fog lights on this particular vehicle. Looking then down the driver's side here, and again, just looking in those reflections there down the side of that, it just looks so nice. And I say this with the 20 inch alloy wheels, as I say the fact that it's lowered and then the bits of styling like the sidebars, I think it just sets it off very, very nicely indeed. I hope you would agree that is a good looking van. But as I say, having a look here, see if there's anything, any blemishes I can see, is that possibly? Yes, there's a tiny little hairline mark there. Finally, I found something, but a tiny little hairline mark uh, just there. But otherwise, absolutely exceptional condition inside and out if i'm honest but opening then the driver's door one other thing to note actually on the addition you do get this element here in gloss black as well which i think does give you a nice continuation there from the front window going into the uh, rear window opening up the driver's door then we can start to have a look at the spec here in the cab and the optional extras have not finished yet looking inside then lovely condition of the step again rubber over mat on this side if I lift that out the way, you can just see how clean it is under there. There's no, of course, heel marks or anything like that. Lovely condition in there. Looking at the driver's door card. Absolutely spot on. On top of here, then, we have electric windows, electric heated folding mirrors. So you can put just that position there. And the mirrors will fold away. Put it back to the heated position, if you like. And then the mirrors will fold back in. Looking inside then, we have auto-activated lights. You can see that we do have two full remote keys with the vehicle. Uh, one other thing to note, this is a one owner from new vehicle, uh, which is always, of course, nice to find. Looking at the driver's seat, and don't know how much of this you'll see with the uh, direct sunlight that we're in here, but fantastic condition of the driver's seat. No excessive wear whatsoever. Height adjustability, and you've also got adjustable armrests on both of the front seats. This little wheel just underneath there you can set that to your desired height. You can get in a really nice, comfortable seating position in these vans. Lovely leather multifunctioning steering wheel. And again, lovely to see that there's no excessive wear to the stop top of the steering wheel. Very, very uh, smart there. Cruise control on the left-hand side, your onboard computer controls on the right, of course. If we look at the mileage, uh, we have got 34,330 miles. You can see there's no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard, it's all idling as it should be. Got the full book pack up on top of here, and then if we jump inside, we can start to have a look at some of the extras that you get here as a driver on this van. So seven speed DSG automatic gearbox, uh, which I mentioned at the start of the video, uh, in my opinion, one of the very, very best in any van, the Volkswagen uh, DSG. I think it's a really, really smooth gearbox. Air conditioning comes as standard. This one has got the extra of heated seats, which is very nice. Things like um, heated windscreen, that all comes as standard, USB, AUX port, all there uh, as standard. I've got my phone plugged in there because this one has got um, App Connect, which, uh, again, a really nice feature to have. Uh, gives you Apple CarPlay, also Android Auto as well if you've got an Android phone so you're not left out any Android users. You can use things like your uh, Google and Apple Maps on here if you want to listen to your music. It's such a fantastic system. If I go back to the uh, Volkswagen page here then, if I go on to radio, you can see that you have got DAB radio on here, of course. And if I go on to nav, this one also has the, uh, what they call Discover Media Satellite Navigation. So this is the factory sat nav. And you can see then as I move my hand up to the screen, you see that little menu which goes there. As I move my hand up to the screen, it senses that it's coming nearer and it displays that. Um, menu there at the bottom for you but a really really nice uh, feature to have the discover media nav gives you this larger screen as well but fantastic condition inside there and of course a lovely spec so just to summarize this particular van then 2019 it was registered January 2019 on a 68 plate it's a one owner from new Volkswagen Transporter T6 which is to say is the shape T30 so three ton gross vehicle weight two liter TDI diesel Euro 6 engine producing 150 brake horsepower, seven speed DSG automatic gearbox. This is the addition, which is, uh, which is the spec. Combi, so as standard would have had five seats, but then the van works 
um, have uh, fitted the fantastic three-seater bench in the back, which is completely removable if you uh, so wanted to. A lovely array of optional extras on this particular van, which of course we've gone through, plus extra styling elements as well. And I say the lovely thing with this, it's one owner from new, fantastic Volkswagen history. During our preparation, we fully serviced it, timing belt, water pump, new MOT, uh, two keys, literally everything going for this particular vehicle. Lovely miles as well, of course, and the condition is uh, near enough faultless, if I'm honest. One final optional extra, which I forgot to mention, this one's got a power latch and side loading door. Uh, just quickly show you, I don't, of course, I don't want to drag this video on for too long, but that is soft closure, power latch and side loading door. That is another optional extra this particular van has got. If you would like to see the full advert for this vehicle, please head over to our website, bridgeendvans.co.uk. This is where you will find all of, of the photography, the price uh, and description of this particular van. And of course, all the other vans that we've got in stock as well. We will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign. So any questions, queries, if you'd like to reserve this vehicle, uh, please get in contact with us via either of those numbers. Of course, you can contact us via the website as well. We can arrange finance at very... Uh, competitive rates. We can offer part exchange on cars or vans and we can deliver our vehicles nationwide as well. Thank you very much for watching.